The year 2024 is the year TCSM could solidify itself in the ASM genre. Or 2024 could be the year that TCSM dies and joins the graveyard with other failed asymmetrical horror games like Evil Dead the Game, VHS, Last Year, Ghostbusters, Friday the 13th. Hell, I could keep going, but I'm sure you get the picture. See, this video is my message to Gun and Sumo. And as always, I say what the fuck I want. A nugget teddy bear and Cook's finest barbecue can't make me kiss ass or act like this game is perfect because it's far from it. TCSM has major issues and if the devs don't step up and change or implement the things that I addressed in this video, it's safe to say this game will be right next to Maria's body. Dead as hell. So without further ado, let's address the first topic. The lack and refusal of giving a roadmap. Gun has been incredible with communicating with the community for the most part, but the cracks in the foundation begin when you ask Gun for a roadmap. Uh, will there ever be a roadmap for Texas Chainsaw Massacre and how mm. often can we expect new patches? So, um, no, we won't ever put out a like a public roadmap. We have our own internal stuff that we're hitting, but um, I don't like putting out roadmaps because it means if if something out of our control happens where we miss something, that's a that's a broken promise. Then uh, I don't like doing that. Um, and honestly, we we learned some of that from Friday Thirteenth. You know, we put out some roadmaps. Things went bad. Things that were out of our control. And then um, we we it didn't go well. Um, the sentiment of the community turned uh, all because of they kept re referencing a, you know the roadmap. And it was like, hey guys, this. You know, this is out of our control, but it's hard to explain that to a whole lot of people. So it's easier for us to, uh, we know all the things we want to do, and we're targeting those. And as soon as we feel like those are in a strong position, we'll start revealing that information uh, to you guys. So let's break this down. The TCSM community will never get a roadmap because a fraction of the F-13 community was being toxic when Gunn was forced to stop making content on the game due to the F-13 lawsuit. Gun could not continue with any content plans from any roadmap or teasers, which was completely out of Gun's control. I'm sure this topic is very sensitive to everyone at Gun. Let's be honest, they spent four years pouring their heart into F13 the game just for a lawsuit to come fuck them over, and it's very unfortunate. And I don't want to be insensitive to that, but I want Gun to understand the real fandom in gamers of F13 knows what happened. Don't punish us because people was being toxic and ignorant to the facts of the situation. TCSM needs some type of roadmap. I'm not saying it needs to be super detailed like we receiving leaks on Twitter, but not giving us anything to go off of is a bizarre decision. The last game that tried that shit died. And yes, I'm talking about Evil Dead the game. A roadmap not only gives players an ETA on dates to look forward to, but it also builds hype. And not only that, without a roadmap, nobody truly knows what's going on behind the scenes. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but Evil Dead the game went the same route. Had fans waiting for months thinking Evil Dead Rise or other Evil Dead content will possibly be coming to the game. But it turns out, Saber already decided to stop supporting it behind the scenes. Imagine leaving your fans in the dark, then popping up with news like that. No doubt, that's how you turn your own community against you. I don't want that for Gun. Let us know what the hell is going on. On to the next topic. The lack of incentive and rewards to keep you playing. TCSM is just like any other game on the market. It's fighting for your attention and playtime. It's no secret. Gun and Sumo will want you to play their game instead of any other. The problem arrives when you realize TCSM doesn't have nothing to grind for. Nobody wants to grind a game without rewards. Hell, some people don't even want to keep playing a game without constantly earning something. The feeling of progression and unlocking cool shit is everything. After you max the perks you want in your ability, the only thing you hear is this. And if I'm lying, I'm dying. 
The lack of cool shit to earn from just playing and leveling up is outrageous. And oh yeah, I have a whole video dedicated to this topic. It's going to pop up right now. Boom. Y'all go watch that shit after this if you haven't already. But anyway, if TCSM wants to make it, this has to change. Just like the last topic. And lucky for us, they have acknowledged this very problem. Roll the damn tape. Are you going to add something to earn in the base game and give players an incentive to play? Mm -hmm. Now that would be, I, I take that, and I hope I'm not misinterpreting the question, I take that as the base game like sub-99, just in general. Will that currency work its way back down that way? Right. Or are there things that are like, if the level goes up, yeah. are there things that are going to appear in that that right. I can Cosmetics, unlock? so on, uh, yeah. And yeah, and the answer to that is yes as well. That's something that we are... Uh, we want to do as well because it kind of makes sense that if there's things that you can buy and things that you can earn uh, I, I mean yeah we, that should be in the game you damn right Wes it should be in the game but anyway yes homies an in game currency system is coming meaning currency that you can earn from playing the game and grinding is on the way that's a huge W and that's the incentive us players need bring those rewards ASAP but with no real ETA all we can hope is that it comes fast enough. With that being said, I guess we just gotta let them cook. You know they say the third time's the charm. The last topic begins now. The true to tone debate. Gunn has made it clear that they want to stick to the tone of the IP. And I think that is great. But at the same time, I think we need to remember that this is a video game. And it's okay to have a little fun with it. I fear that the whole true to tone thing will hinder some of the true fun that TCSM can reach. For example, I did a video about emotes possibly coming to the game and people went berserk. Shit, I think Leatherface doing a chainsaw dance emo out of nowhere will be God tier. Or for another example, if I was captured by murderous cannibals and I was about to escape, it ain't no doubt about it. Boy, I'm emoting like a motherfucker. But nah, loosen up in this bitch, man. We play the game to have fun. Of course, every game has its tone and boundaries, but hey, if Gun out here confirming a shirtless Johnny cosmetic, why the fuck is emotes and other shit like festive decorations around the maps on holidays a problem? That shit makes zero sense to me. I don't want Leatherface running around in the tutu or no weird shit like that. But damn, loosen the fuck up because it's starting to give me soulless vibes. All I hear is, that don't fit the tone this, and that don't fit the tone that. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. Halloween of this year, this is the first Halloween that we got to have TCSM in our hands. Was it an event? No. Was it Halloween themed cosmetics? No. You know why? Because it doesn't fit the tone. What the fuck? Like, yo. You see what I mean? Like, all this true to tone shit. Listen, listen. Like, knock it the fuck off, all right? Knock it off, all right? Straight up. I'm so sick of that shit. You know, Christmas is coming up. Will we get an event? No. How about Thanksgiving? TCSM, the family, Thanksgiving. What, ain't that a perfect, you know, ain't that perfect for like some type of event? You know, they cook people, eat them, you know? Did we get an event for it? No. Did we get Thanksgiving themed cosmetics? No. Did we get even some type of festive decoration for it? No. You know why? Because it doesn't fit the tone. Listen, man, I'm telling y'all right now. All that, it doesn't fit the tone shit. That's another downfall. Man, please, knock it off. And I'm gonna be honest, homies. I could talk about this all day. So I'm going to just go ahead and wrap it up here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know what to do. But make sure y'all leave your thoughts down below. In 2024, will TCSM rise to the top or will it flop? I want to know your honest opinion. And remember, homies, it's no wrong answers. 
I just want to really know what y'all think. But with that being said, this is Pooch Dog. Y'all be safe out there. I'm gone.